Hi everyone, it's uh, Monday, November 20th. Uh, it's great to be with you today. I hope you had a great Sunday yesterday. I hope you're able to worship with us uh, either in person or online. We we uh, had a Thanksgiving uh, Day Sunday, right? We're looking forward to the, to the national holiday on Thursday. Uh, and so we we focus on this this idea of Thanksgiving and and um, you know I, I started with uh, the, the the idea that uh, psychology today they 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 know that that being thankful having gratitude is a good thing it it improves our health in, in every way however you measure the quality of life it improves it and I even read from. Uh, the, the, the beginning of an article uh, in, in a psychology journal that said, when you feel down in the dumps or find yourself in a funk, how do you cope? You turn to junk food, uh, self-medication, shopping, the like. One healthy, powerful, and free strategy to rise from the temporary emotional state is to practice gratitude. And and it, and, I, and I talked about this a little while how they've done studies and and they have uh, they, they have ways to to kind of raise the gratitude level in people because it's so good for you. <laughs> uh, and and they've done all these studies that that, that show that. Uh, and, and they even talked about how uh, there's two parts to this uh, gratitude thing. Finally, acknowledging the good things in your life. Stop and think about it, right? Um, and then the second thing is to recognize the sources of these good things come from outside of yourself. And boy, that, that's, that's right up our alley as people who know the Lord Jesus Christ, huh? So with, with that background, I, I want to read uh, uh, from Luke 17. Um, and it, uh, it go, goes like this. Now, on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. So he went this way on purpose, right? Uh, there's a number of ways you go there, but this is the way he went. Uh, and, and as you could recall, the, the Jewish people and, and the Samaritans were kind of mortal enemies. They, they, they didn't like each other much. So it says, as he was going into a village, 10 men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. So uh, le leprosy was um, a, a horrible disease. It, it, uh, you, you were going to die from it. It killed you horribly. It, it ate away at the cartilage. And so uh, you, it would seem like your nose fell off because it's made of cartilage and your, your fingers. And, uh, and it was painful. And, and, um, uh, and, and, and so it was a horrible disease to get it. And, and because it was... Uh, you can catch it real easy, right? Communicable. Uh, uh, they they would push these people out of society, and they would live in these little colonies outside of the town, the cities, um, and that's why they're calling out to Jesus from a distance, right? They knew they couldn't approach him. Uh, if they approached him or any other people, they 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 would be uh, perhaps even stoned to death, right? Uh, they they didn't want any part of them. They 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 were frightened of them, and and they had and so they were. It was kind of this sentence of horrible death. And, and and by the way, great shame, uh, and and that you were totally ostracized from life, right? From from all from society, from the community, you were totally ostracized. This this was the state of these guys, so they're crying out to Jesus, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, "Go show yourselves to the priest." So so uh, when a leper by some miracle was was uh, uh, well made well, they had to show themselves to the priest to prove that they were well. Okay, and this goes way back to the Old Testament. And um, so Jesus said to them, hey, go show yourselves to the priests. And, and as they walked along, they, they, they were healed. That's what it says here. And as they went, they, they were cleansed. That one, it must have been a, 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 a weird deal, huh? <laughs> Did that mean that if I lost my nose, I, I, I got a new nose? I, I don't know. But, but the point was they were cleansed. They were made well. Uh, and I kind of think they, they were restored. All right, whether it was fingers or toes or nose or ears, uh, the cartilage was restored, uh, and that they could that they could see it and 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 know that they were they were healed, right? So what happens here? One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back praising God. All right, so this is he he knew that he was blessed and he knew it had to come from outside of himself. It had to be God. So he's praising God here, uh, and. In a loud voice, he threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And this was the Samaritan, the guy that was a mortal enemy, right? Uh, a foreigner, so to speak. And, and, and so th this was Jesus' reply. Only one of them came back of the ten. Jesus asked, were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, rise and go. Your faith has made you well. So how do you think... Jesus is speaking these words. And what do you think his point is? His point is, hey, better say thank you. 
or was he sorrowfully saying, where are the other nine? You see, uh, as we talked about Sunday, um, this idea of, of having gratitude is, is a state of being. It has to come from inside of you. Uh, it's, it's not uh, uh, as, you know, we might teach a sign, what do you say? What do you say? I'm supposed to say thank you, right? Well, that's not what Jesus is talking about here. And I, I think the, the wordplay here is, the, you know, he calls this guy, only this foreigner came back. And, and the wordplay is this, that, that in Jesus, he was no longer a foreigner. Through faith in Jesus, he was part of the family. And he was made whole. He was, he was healed of, of leprosy, but also uh, of, of um, being disconnected from God, right? And, and, and how did this all, all happen? Because he was changed inside. He, he knew uh, that, that he had these, this blessing in his life. He knew he had to come from God, from Jesus. And so he ran back to Jesus and he entered into this relationship of gratitude with him. So everything flowed from that in his life. And that's, that's the essence. Uh, when, when, when you read what uh, the psychiatry, what psychiatry says about this, you know, they, they really are talking about a state of being. It's not just, uh, uh, you know, being, being thankful in the moment. It's, it's, it's kind of t t doing those things that will grow in yourself, this, this state of gratitude that, 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 that you live in. And, and you know what? Unless you know God, where it comes from, it, it doesn't make any sense. But we know God and we know Jesus and we know all, every blessing comes from him. It says uh, in James, you know, that every blessing comes down the from the Father of lies from God himself. And, and this is what we give thanks for. Uh, and, and it is a blessing to us to, to have this heart of gratitude that God gives us and to exercise it, right? Um, uh, because we, we, we no longer are cut off from what life is all about. Life is about Jesus. You can't want to have it to the full. And, and part of that is to, is to know the giver. Uh, and, and to receive what he gives us with joy, with great gratitude, and, and to live in that. Uh, a state of being. I, I hope this Thanksgiving week you think about that, you pray about that, you rejoice. In, in fact, you have so many good things that you don't deserve, and, and God gives it all to you in Jesus Christ. All right? So let, let's pray. Dearest Jesus, we, we thank you for this great story and for the heart that you received, that, that um that, that you had towards uh, the nine that weren't there. It, it wasn't just, oh, they better say thank you to me. It was, I want them to have this relationship with me, to know the hand of the giver and rejoice that. We pray, Lord, that you would touch our hearts with that reality, that you would uh, redirect our hearts to this place of gratitude, that we might be blessed in you. Um, and we pray, Lord, that, um, that we might be a witness uh, to, to you as the giver, uh, and, and to hearts that receive that. We, we, we pray, especially this week, we might think about that and grow in that and be blessed. And we pray in your name. Amen. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. May God be with you. Bye-bye.